Hi everybody and welcome back to Crafted by Corey. If you're new, I'm Corey. If you're returning, thank you so much for being here. Let's go ahead and get right into the crafting. DIY number one. For this project, I have a Dollar Tree frame, a Dollar Tree floral pick, and then this little decal that I created on my Silhouette Cameo. The font is Shine Bright, and I got that from defont.com. So I just went ahead and got my little decal ready, and got it all weeded, and then set it aside for the time being. And then I took my little frame apart, just took the glass out of it. And the way this is set up, it's got two glass panels. So um, I just uh, got those all cleaned up and got them ready for later. So in the meantime, I am using my chalk paint in the color moss and giving that just a single coat all over the gold. And now I'm taking my little pansies and of course, you know me, I always pull apart my picks. So I just want the buds and I want them to be able to lay flat because as I mentioned before, there are two panes of glass here so whatever it is that you are putting in your frame needs to fit between the two panes of glass and I wanted to be careful not to break the glass by having anything too thick in there so hopefully that makes sense so I selected three little buds of varying colors I'm just making sure that the petals are all laying flat and not getting folded over and that they are going to fit between my glass panes and then I'm going to pop that right back into the frame and get that secured in there and I'm coming with my little decal with my transfer tape and applying it to the glass just down at the bottom such a quick and easy little project and I just love how it turned out let me know what you think in the comments and give me a thumbs up if you liked it So thank you so much for being here. I just wanted to take a quick minute to introduce you to my channel if you are new. My name is Corey and this is Crafted by Corey and I love doing all different kinds of DIYs. I hope you'll visit with me again soon and if you are returning, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. Also want to share that I have a new channel called Calm with Corey and on that channel I have guided meditations and I like to talk about positive thinking and the things that we say to ourselves and how we can really influence our daily lives. So I hope you'll check that out too. DIY number two. For this project, I have three items from the Dollar Tree. They are all glass items. They are all candle holders of one uh, shape or form and I'm using my E6000 and my hot glue in a second you'll see to put these all together so I've got the little candlestick I've got the little candle bowl I think it was called it holds a little votive that I flipped upside down to use as my base and before I put on the little hurricane part, I'm going to paint my base. And I was trying to decide between the plaster and the silver lining. Silver lining won out. I decided that was the direction I wanted to go. So I went ahead and I gave this two coats. And then as I was applying the second coat, and here's the thing with glass, it doesn't always adhere the way you might hope. So I decided to use that to my advantage. And I did go ahead and scuff off the paint that was on the top where it's going to meet the other piece because I want my glue to be able to adhere. And then I went ahead and distressed the rest of my little candle holder here. Like I said, just taking advantage of the fact that it wasn't really the the paint wasn't really adhering in all places so coming in with my e6000 i went every other little bump there or section i should say and coming in with my hot glue for the other sections and placing my hurricane on top once that was all set i've got my blue gingham ribbon and i'm just going to tie a cute little shoelace bow right at the top of the base there now, as I did this, I determined that it really wanted to be upside down. I don't know why, but the way, however I tie my bows, it 
just wanted to be upside down. So I figured, okay, well, I'll redo it upside down. So then when I flip it right side up, it will be the way that I want it. So yeah, I'm not sure why my bows do that, but it that's what it did. So I went with it. And then I went ahead and trimmed off my little tails. And this is done. Another cute, sweet little project. Went ahead and added a little hot glue there just to keep the ribbon in place. But let me know what you think of this one too. And if you liked it, please do give me a big thumbs up. DIY number three. For this project, I've got my Arteza black canvas, my Arteza acrylic paints, and then again, a little decal that I had um, cut out on my Silhouette Cameo. And this I am actually using, it happens to be a Silhouette. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my canvas. Now, I decided not to use transfer tape. I figured this might work because it was fairly large. And um, I wasn't, really sure if it was going to work but it actually did so I'm just applying it carefully to my canvas and making sure that I've got it adhered nice and firmly and now I'm going to come in with my various paint colors I'm starting with white and I'm just putting some little blobs down across the um, canvas and then I used a lavender color I think that last one was wine and this one I think was called royal so I'm going to take one of my makeup sponges and I am going to just blot, 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 blot all over, blending the colors through and across the canvas. I've seen a couple of different um, artists do things like this online and I just thought it was really neat and I wanted to try and give it a shot. I am not a trained painter. I've said it before. If you have watched my channel for any length of time, you, you know painting is not my strong suit. I am just trying this out because I thought it was neat. I wanted to see what would happen if I tried it, and so I went for it. <laughs> so, as you can see, I am just using the same little makeup sponge throughout here, and I am just going through and blending my colors as I go. So, went right from the white into the lavender into the wine, and now I'm on the blue. And so I just kept going back and forth down. So you can see I do have a little bit of blue that went back down into the wine because I want to make sure that everything is nicely blended. So again, I don't really know how this is all going to turn out at this point, but I am just blending, blending. You can see me coming back down and blending some more and it actually worked out just fine. I was a little worried about it, but it kind of did what I needed it to do. So once I had it all blended in the way that I wanted it, just blending some more apparently. <laughs> lots and lots of blending. So then I went ahead and I grabbed a piece of parchment paper and I just bunched it up because I wanted to try to do away with the harsh edges that the sponge was leaving. And one of the videos that I had seen online um, that the artist had used foil. He, he had crumpled up a piece of foil and done this. And I thought, well, why not parchment paper? <laughs> it might work. And it actually gave it a really nice effect and helped with blending it some more. So now I'm taking some more white paint and a piece of cardboard, just scrap cardboard that I folded in half to have a clean edge. And I'm trying to flick it to get myself some stars. And I don't know if it was because the paint was too thick or what might have been going on. Um, but they weren't exactly perfectly round little stars. They were a little bit more like, I don't know, streaky. <laughs> so I was like, Ugh, it's not really what I had in mind, especially that big one there. So I grabbed my little sponge again and I'm going through and just kind of dabbing at them and trying to soften them a little bit and just blending them in a little bit. I didn't want to go too crazy because I wanted to try to see if I could keep the effect of the stars. And then I did go ahead and add in a few more after I did that. So now it's the moment of truth. I'm peeling away my little stencil, if you will. And then I was looking at it and I wanted to figure out how to do the light from the 
um, lighthouse. So I added a little bit of yellow there and then I'm coming in with another little piece. I'd cut off the top of my makeup sponge and so I'm just using a tiny little piece there. And before I went out onto the rest of the canvas, I wanted to make sure that my paint was dry because I didn't want to start bringing nighttime sky colors into my yellow. So once that was done, I grabbed a little bit more yellow, but then I decided it was a little bit too dark. So I grabbed my white again and I decided I was going to blend some of my yellow with my white and just try to lighten that up a little bit. So just stippling and stippling and then I decided I was going to bring it outside the confines of the little lighthouse windows, if you will. And so I just started working that um, out on either side a little bit the way that light might sometimes um, be seen kind of streaking out. And I did share this picture with um, my friend um, Danielita AF. She has a channel as well. She is the crafty um, mixologist, I think is what her term is. She does crafts and cocktails and she's a lot of fun, but she is also an artist. And so I was said, Daniela, did I do okay with this? And she's like, oh, it's great. And she did recommend that I bring the light out a little bit further than I had. So I might go back in and bring the light out a little bit further and just have it fade out more and more as it goes. But this is my project right now and I would love to know what you think. So please do leave me a comment. And if you are a painter and have some tips for me, I'm all for it. <laughs> So now it's time for a shout out, a timeout. Very pretty, Sandy. Look at all of these fantastic projects that Sandy shared. Thank you so much for sharing with us. And so nice, Mary. Mary has some beautiful things for Easter. So pretty and gorgeous, Heather. More Easter decor, just such great talent out there. And pretty Jessica and Kyra, thank you so much for sharing your projects with us. And lovely Linda, what a neat journal that you've been working on, so nice. I would love to give you a shout out as well. So if you have interest, please email me at craftedbycory at gmail.com. DIY number four. For this project, I have this decal from the Dollar Tree and I have a piece of foam core board. So I am just measuring off the different words because these actually will um, come apart and get stacked one on top of the other. So I wanted to make sure that I had an idea of how large my uh, foam core board would need to be. And I settled on eight inches by 14 inches tall. And I went ahead and used my square to cut down my card, um, foam core board, excuse me, not card stock, it's foam core board. So I went ahead and cut that down. And once I had that cut to size, I went to work at transferring over my decals and using my transfer tape. I started with the middle thinking I would center that and then go on from there. Of course, as soon as I set it down, I did not press at all but that was on there. So <laughs> just make sure you have it where you want it before you start setting it down when you're using foam core board because it wasn't coming up again. So it was fine though. And I went ahead and um, added the other parts and just tried to line up the B's, if you will. So be patient, be kind. No, sorry, be patient, be gentle, be humble, be loving. And so once I had that all on there, I decided that, well, and then I secured it with uh, my burnisher, but I decided I wanted to come in with my uh, silver lining chalk paint and kind of distress it a little bit. I was also hoping to camouflage the edges of the decals. You can't really see them on camera, but I, I could see them in person and it was bothering me. So I wanted to try to disguise that. Not sure that the dry brushing really disguised it very much, but I liked the distressing anyway. And I just went over um, all of it, including my words, and uh, got it to where I wanted it. 
So once I had that all set, I did decide to come in and give it a good coat of Mod Podge. This is matte Mod Podge, and so I just went over the entire thing. I wanted to seal in my chalk paint, protect it, and then also just make sure that my decals were not gonna lift, though, again, they, they were stuck on there pretty good, so I don't think there was much chance of that happening. So then I had this really pretty um, gray burlap uh, ribbon from the Dollar Tree that I thought I might be able to frame it with. And ultimately I decided, no, I was going to use my handy dandy paint sticks. Um, these I get for three for a dollar from um, my local Home Depot or Lowe's. So they are awesome. I cut them down to size, went ahead and gave them all a coat of my Waverly Wax the antique wax and once they were all dry I went to putting it together now you can see I'm butting it right up against my foam core board so in order to attach this I'm going to use the large popsicle sticks so I don't think these were the tongue depressors oh yeah I think they actually were the tongue depressor sticks so these were the extra large and just cut them down to the size that I needed and went ahead and started securing it. I'm using wood glue and just kind of going over both the board and the frame. And then I'm also gonna come in with some hot glue in between where the wood glue is. So not mixing my glues because I don't want to interfere with the bond. Um, but I wanted to be able to have that immediate hold as well as the long-term hold. Hopefully that makes sense. So I did that all the way around. It just came in in a couple of spots with my hot glue and just was careful not to mix the, uh, the two glue types. And there you have it. So then I thought maybe I would use some of that ribbon because I really do love that ribbon, but ultimately I decided I just liked it plain. Let me know what you think. And here we are with the final reveal. Okay, everybody, that's it for today. Thank you again so much for being here. If you enjoyed today's project, I hope that you'll give me a big thumbs up because that really does help support my channel. I also hope that you'll consider subscribing if you haven't already done so. So hit that subscribe button and make sure you hit the bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. Until the next time, be well, be kind, and make it a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Take good care. Bye.